What's up, taters? This is Tree from treeoflogic.com. Welcome to my channel, Just Tree 411 um, I was the first streamer to break out the news in reference to the arrests of Andrew and Tristan Tate. As soon as I saw it on, actually, <laughs> I was on, I was on Telegram. It would actually the story broke on Telegram before it hit Twitter. And you guys need to get on Telegram. Now I'm not saying you should. I don't trust the app. I actually had to buy a burner phone in order to get Telegram and download it. That's just how much I don't trust it. But oh my God, I'm so addicted. And a lot of things that break out in America, especially if it happens overseas, it will happen on Telegram first. So let me talk about what's going on, the hypocrisy, as well as something that I want a lot of the men in the red pill community to understand and to know for the future. So as you, many of you already know, Andrew and Tristan Tate have been um, arrested uh, for the same situation that happened in April. Now, somebody was telling me these are different girls. Come to find out it is the same girls. One is from America. The other one is from um, Armenia. I think, or, or maybe she is Romania. Maybe she's from Armenia or from Romania. So I know about the female from America because they said they was contacted by the United States Embassy, but they were let go. Those charges were dropped. They never went to court for it. The charges were dropped because there was insignificant evidence. And plus it was found out that the girl wanted to be there in the first place. So this was <laughs> this was like a false arrest or false allegations, but it's a lot of uh, information out there that I can't keep up with. But I do know for a fact that the report of human trafficking that was placed on the the, uh, on the Tate brothers uh, was dropped. They did not have enough evidence to charge them. So what happened was that they were uh, digging up and had more information and they had enough evidence to charge them again. And they were waiting for them to come back to Romania. And because Andrew Tate stated that, you know, he was living in Dubai at the time, but he travels a lot. So they did not want to come to the house, uh, come, actually come to the house and make an arrest and then find out that he's not there. So that means that he, if he knows the police are on to him, he would not come back to the country. So they had to be very careful. And so they waited until they know for a fact that he was at his residence. It was, he was at his mansion in Romania. And I can't pronounce the city that, he, that the house is in, but we understand he has a very nice luxury home in Romania. It wasn't until he did a response video to this chick here, Greta Thornburg. All right. And, and that's, this was in reference to a Twitter spat that they had. What happened was Andrew Tate, uh, had his car and he just added her. Actually, Andrew Tate drew first blood. He came for Greta and whoever, um, uh, operates her Twitter account said this. So I want you guys to understand that Greta Thornburg did not tweet this. This was not her. This is not something, a language that a, a child like this would basically would, would say. So this is what happened. He said, hello, Greta Thornburg. I have 33 cars. My Bugatti has a, okay, big word, big words for an engine. I don't know what any of this means. So I'm not even going to try to, to say it. My two Ferraris. 812 um and same thing engine engine this is man talk i i'm not into cars because i'm a whamming and he says this is just a start please provide your email address so i can send a complete list of my car collection and their respective enormous emissions so <laughs> She responds back, oh no, not her, not Greta. Whoever is taking control over her, who, I guess her handlers or her PR rep, this is clearly the language of a grown adult, all right? So this is someone, and Greta, from my understanding, uh, she is 20 years old, she just turned 20, so she's no longer a teenager, she's not 19, she's 20. So people stop calling her a teenager. Uh, she's a 20 year old woman right now. And they, and this is what the person who mans her, uh, Twitter account said, yes, please do enlighten me. Email me at small energy at get Now I find it hypocritical 
that the left likes to make these rules of don't body shame, don't kink shame, don't uh, don't shame a woman about the size of her boobs, don't shame a man. I don't even know if they're okay unless the man is gay. But if you're a heterosexual, it's open season. So I thought this was really bad to sit up here and do that. But let me let me get on let me get on the hypocrisy of this later. Let me just go ahead and finish up what happened. So anyway, he responds back with a video. I'm not going to play it because you guys have seen it. So uh, during the time he was recording this video, as a response back to uh, Greta. He had a pizza delivery guy come to his house and instead of let, letting the pizza guy put the pizza down, he had them bring it to the front of his table. And as you can see, it says Jerry Pizza. And this is in Romania. The police are actually, they were stalking his social media accounts. So they were stalking um, his uh, Rumble channel as well as his Twitter. And when they saw those pizza delivery, they saw those pizza boxes with the Jerry Pizza out of Romania. That's when they realized, okay, he's in uh, Romania. Let's go to his mansion and let's go ahead and, re and arrest them. And here is them getting arrested right now. So that's Andrew and his brother, that's his brother behind him. And uh, I think the other woman, uh, the woman here is the assistant right here. That's their personal assistant, I think, because it's definitely not his sister. Okay, and that's them. So the raid uh, and the arrest happened at nighttime over there. I I think they are, I think they're either 10 or 11 hours ahead of us. So that's that. So that's what happened. So he's in jail and a lot of people are cheering on. Now here's, so that's basically the size of it. There's some fake video footage of people um, saying that, oh, he's free, but they're showing an old, let me just actually show you that. They're showing you an old video that was taken from Tucker Carlson's show right here, this right here, uh, where this guy right here is just trying to get a lot of, uh, uh, he's trying to get a lot of uh, followers and he's showing an old, you might an old Tucker Carlson interview with Andrew Tate right here and he's like look at look look at this this is just so deceptive this is what you call lies not misinformation it's straight up lies andrew tate and his brother have been released no charges uh top g with the w take that l greta tards and 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 excuse me greta fans <laughs> i'm so sorry guys. <laughs> greta fans and he put the middle finger in see this is right this is the reason why people are not on your side when you are a andrew tate fan why would you do this why would you try to deceive the public like this and uh, you guys are your own worst enemy you're your own worst enemy when you do stuff like this this is when people just like you know what i don't want to have anything to do with andrew tate or his fans because they're just straight crazy and malicious and they just basically push out lies but let's get back to the hypocrisy here in reference to the small dick energy at getalife.com. I think this is hypocritical of the left wanting to shame men. And basically, if I'm gonna tell you something, and y'all know I'm right, okay? Because if you if you notice how everybody on the right and the right of center came out for Kyle Rittenhouse. We had his back. We had his front. We had his side. We basically looked out for him. We also looked out for Sandman. When you are a good person, because I know a lot of people are understand that there is a war on white men, and that is true. If you are a straight white man, a man in general, a lot of there's a lot of war going against men in general, but I'm sorry, there's more war going against white straight men than any other men 
uh, any type of uh, sexual identity men out there. If you're a gay white man, you got it, okay? You got it made. You are marginalized according to the left, all right? If you are a black man, you can still be oppressed. BLM, Black Lives Matter, oh my God. Look at us, we're disproportionately represented in jail. But straight white men are the enemy. That is how it is. Now, Andrew Tate is biracial. He's half white half black okay so he's not black he's not white he is a mulatto he's mixed however he's an asshole and he's not liked by many on the left and the right so had this been somebody that we were behind and we adored and loved and respected we would have came after Greta for being a hypocrite or whoever was running her account, we would have came after them for actually trying to body shame a man. And this is the disadvantage you guys have when you make people who's supposed to be on your side. Okay, let's be clear. There's a lot of things. Well, not a lot, but I would have to say I agree with probably 70% of the things that Andrew Tate says. All right. But it's the 30% that get, that just infuriate me. <laughs> I'm just like, why did you say that? And, it, and actually, just, it just turns me off and I just don't want to have anything to do with him. And I'm not the only one. If you just basically have enemies on all sides and you have just your, I guess you could say your little group and, and you guys are a niche. You're not a huge group. Like they try to associate Andrew Tate with mega. He's not mega. He's not. He, how can he be mega? He's not even in, in America voting. He can't vote here. <laughs> okay. So, this is when you have to understand there's powers in numbers. When he was deplatformed, we could have came for him. Did you guys see how we all came for um, Nick Ricada? Let me see if I can find that tweet uh, where we came for Nick Ricada. Let me see. Is this it? No, that's not. Oh, that's just a cute little puppy I had here. Let me see. I saved that because I thought this was so great how we all came for Nick Ricada. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right here. Right. Nick Ricada is from Ricada Law. He is a man married with five beautiful children. When he was deplatformed, when he was suspended off of YouTube, they perma banned him off of YouTube because a lot of people from the trans community had mass flagged him. We all came on YouTube in the tens of thousands not the hundreds, the tens of thousands. There was thousands and thousands and thousands of us that came on Twitter and we advocated for uh, uh, Nick to get unbanned. And what happened? They looked into his case because we, made, we had him trending for the right reason, not the wrong reason. Because when you look at Andrew Tate, uh, when he's trending, Nothing but derogatory tweets talking bad about him, slamming him, just basically clowning him and just belittling him. But when Nick Ricada or when he had Ricada Law, hashtag Ricada Law, when that was and free Ricada Law, okay, you didn't see no free Andrew Tate. You did not see that hashtag. There is no hashtag that would trend like that because this man is hated on all sides. But when you have a huge group of people, especially on the right, that has your back. We're gonna look out for you, just like we looked out for Nick. Nick is got his um, channel unbanned from YouTube, and he had his Twitter account unbanned. Okay, we look out for our own. If we love you, if we support you on mass. We have your back. That is the disadvantage when you want to play hero and villain at the same time, okay? And it never pays off for you guys. It just never pays off. This is the reason why I believe it was so easy to come after Andrew Tate. His small niche, his clique, his small group of devoted followers is not enough 
to make a difference. It's not enough to have to get him to be treated fairly. Now you guys can do the cope and all you want to in reference just because you're doing the same thing with Kanye West. You're like, oh, he says things. It's true. See what happens? This is what happened. He's just basically speaking the truth. Well, you know what? Nick also speaks the truth, but he doesn't do it in a way that will, I guess you could say, put off other people. You know, Sam, I'm not, it's, it's not a repulsive way of sending out your message. Andrew Tate can actually give out his message without pissing people off. And if you really think peace, pissing people off, who is supposed to be on your side, is really a good thing, then look at what happened to him. He, there's no big outrage for that. If this happened to somebody we cared about, look at how, like I said, once again, look at how we looked out for Nick Sandman. Look at how we looked out for Kyle Rittenhouse. We had his back, his front, his side. We had all of it. We had him. And therefore, he is adored. He is watched. And you know what? When he, uh, Kyle actually has a lawsuit going against him. He raised $40,000 in two hours. You have to ask yourself, and I know a lot of you are just so low IQ, you're just going to believe what you want to believe, and you're going to suffer the consequences in the end, okay? what? I, I'll say this. I believe that these charges against Andrew are fictitious, but I'm not going to go out there and advocate for him. He is my enemy. I do not support people that are my enemy. And I know you're like, well, you agree with 70% of the things that he says. Okay, yeah, so what? So what? A broken clock can be right twice a day. But I know that how he really feels about women. And I'm sorry, I am a whammon. <laughs> I'm not going to sit up here and have you demean me and degrade me and think I am subhuman as a because my sex is different than yours. My gender is different than yours. You think because I am born as a woman, I am beneath you. Now, I'm not talking about in a relationship. I do agree that when you're in a relationship and you're married, your husband is in control. He is in charge. He has the last word. I agree with that. But what I'm saying is there's a better way of actually explaining that without turning women like myself, who is a right winger off. I will never promote this man. I will never share his message because he's just degrading to women in general. One of these days, and I promise you, one of these days, there's going to be a man who's going to basically put little body shaming heifers like this in their place, but do it in a very respectful way. Because you understand there's no way to come after this chick if you try to body shame her or you try to talk about her mental state of mind or, you know, some you know, mental disability she have. Oh, you ableist. Oh, you are sexist. Oh, but he's already misogynist. I do believe he's a misogynist. But there's a way to come back and shame her, not like talking about her features and talking about her mental state of mind. There's a way to come and just shame her for shaming him in reference to his body part. This right here was uncalled for. This right here, there was no need for her to say that. None. None whatsoever. She didn't have to say, well, not her, not her in general, but whoever mans the account, there was no need for them to say any of this, right? So that's what I just want to show you guys is that keep thinking that pissing off a lot of people is the way to go. Look at Kanye West. You damn right the Jews control Hollywood. They made Hollywood. They invented Hollywood, not white people. They made it. So they should control what they make. And if you understand the difference between the, the laws that the Catholics had to abide by versus the Jews, you would understand why they also, they own a lot of banks. See, one thing I love about the Jews, they got their act together. And you're going to basically put some respect on their name because they make sure they put themselves in a very, in a lot of leadership positions to where if you disrespect them, they will take care of it. And you will go like Kanye West from a billionaire to a millionaire. And right now, because Kanye is getting a lot of his uh, uh, luxury cars uh, repossessed, also, he just got evicted out of his um, uh, building in Calabasas. He's going to be a thousandaire because he wanted to go against the same people that he hired. Remember, Kanye West specifically wanted to hire only a Jewish lawyer. You had to be, if you was a lawyer, you had to be a Jewish one. Okay. If you was, uh, if you was his accountant, have to be a Jew. <laughs>
<laughs> if you was his manager, had to be a Jew. He purpose. If you was not Jewish, he was not gonna hire you. And then he was jealous because he was not as great as the people that he hired. Then he starts getting mad and do it and start having a temper tantrum and then start speaking ill of the very people who was responsible for making him a billionaire in the first place. I want to say this. Only the inferior will complain about the superior. Only the inferior. You'll never see a lion crying and whining and moaning about the disproportionate representation of the gazelles in the jungle. <laughs> you know why? Because that's more food for him. Okay, you are either the wolf or you're the sheep. And a lot of you go like, bah, the Jews, bah, oh my God, bah, these women, bah. Okay, you are just an inferior one who cannot handle the heat. I'm sorry, but ha that's how it is. All right. So anyway, I'm going to end this and just say this. As much as I don't like Andrew Tate, I... Hope that this is also fictitious, just like what happened in April, and that he gets out of it. Because maybe this will be the final reckoning. Maybe this is the final score from the universe to say, hey, stop it with the arrogance and stop it with belittling women. You are very intelligent and you have a lot of lessons to teach. But understand that women are also in that equation and women will listen to a man, but they will never listen to a man. The, well, let me just say the women who can actually spread the message and the women who have some self-esteem, they will never listen to a man that belittles them, that tries to humiliate them. Notice I said try. Because if you are a woman who knows your value, who actually have self-esteem, high self-esteem, you, you are not humiliated by anything this man says. You just ignore him. And when he gets in trouble, you don't fight for his freedom, nor do you fight for his right to exist on social media platforms. So that is the message I wanted to pass along. I wanted you guys to understand that you can get a lot of bees with honey versus vinegar. And you guys can sit up here and cope and get mad at me for telling the truth. But here's the deal. Where's the lie? Notice how nobody is advocating for his freedom. Let, let's go to the, look, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's go to the trending. Let's go to the trending right now. Let's see if we see free Andrew Tate trending. Demonic Dr. Robert Malone, who's also loved. Andrew Tate, nope, nope, no, nope, not no free Andrew Tate. Prince Andrew, Salvo, Jerry's Pizza, Epstein, uh, I don't know who this is, Pronouns, Boycott, Crocs, Kevin, why is Kevin Samuels trending? Okay, I'll check that out later. Chuck Norris, uh, South China Sea, there you go. And also, that's another point. When Kevin Samuels passed away, you know, I was kind of sad about that because I thought he, he passed away too soon. But did you see how many people glorified him? Men, you need women. You will need us on your team. Keep thinking that you can basically alienate us and be successful. You need us more than you think we need you. And if you have us as your bullhorn to advocate for your freedom, you're going to have to make peace with us sooner or later. Or otherwise, you're going to end up like the Tate brothers. This is Tree from treeoflogic.com. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe and I will talk to you all on the next one. Later, taters. Yeah.